this is just one of all right, this Chessie here is one I bought at the uh, train show today for uh, three dollars, and this is something I haven't seen before. That engine, that type of motor, and actually looking at it, there's hardly any dirt on the uh, or carbon on the stator in there where the brushes connect. So this is interesting. It looks like it actually was not used that much, although it is filthy. So I'll take this apart clean it up and let's see what happens with it. I gotta figure out how it comes apart. I'll get back to you. Alright, so I got this chassis apart here and uh, cleaned up the wheels and the, uh, the contact points on the truck. Usually when I get a locomotive that's dirty, I just take it over to the sink and use a toothbrush and uh, just some hand soap and clean it. And the last time uh, I cleaned a Chessy F7. This is what happened to it. Just regular soap and it completely wiped everything off. Uh, this one's a lifelike. I'm not sure what this one is and I'm glad I stopped because I just used uh, some water and a toothbrush. I didn't use, I used just a teeny tiny bit of soap and actually I was drying it with a Q-tip and noticed that the paint was starting to come off so I'm glad I stopped when I did. So here we are making progress. Got the wheels clean and the contacts clean and I'll get to the motor here. So I gotta put a drop of oil on these axles here and what I do is I take a, a bottle cap here and I put you know put some of this 10 weight oil in it and I take a toothpick and just get a drop on there and then drop it on wherever I have to oil it and this is hard to do with uh, one hand so basically that's what I'm doing. You just dip, the, dip the toothpick in the oil so you got to drop on it and just drop it wherever you need it. Alright so I got the motor apart here, the rear truck. Cleaned it up. Uh, there's a little bit of dirt in here and uh, a little bit of hair on the axles. Um, the traction tires literally came apart, crumbled as I was working on that and I found one of these gears here is actually missing uh, it's missing a tooth or two here so fortunately I have some parts upstairs that will uh, that will work with that and I do have traction tires and I need to clean some more dirt out of this well, we're going to need a little clean up but we do going run Okay, this is what I love about this hobby and uh, train shows. So I bought this guy for three bucks and it's got a broken front truck and I thought well sooner or later I'll find a uh, another one and guess what I went upstairs and dug through my box and here we have a Santa Fe AHM with a broken rear truck but yet a good front truck. Guess what's going to happen? That is going to go over there and we're going to have a fixed locomotive. Now somebody then after taking this apart here it looks like there is a sound unit in here or something. So let's fix the truck and then see what's up with this sound unit here. See if I can figure out what it is and if it works or not. I'll let you know. Alright, so I got this AHM here, Pennsylvania F7, that uh, I thought was really cool. And uh, I had another AHM that I stole the front truck off of and saved this. I had to do some rewiring. Um, looks like somebody actually had a, I guess it's a DCC unit there. So after a good bit of work, there we go. It's a little bit noisy, so it's going to take a little bit more work. 